Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. So, uh, the reason I'm being quiet is because it's late and uh, people are trying to sleep, but I wanted to play some EU4 as the Great One Dynasty. So, let us continue. Uh, I'll drop the speed down here real quick. Uh, so, it's not as laggy for the second. Um, but we got some things. We have... Um, Korean separatists that are not in my nation. I don't know where they are, but they're not in my nation. Um, we have Tengrist Zealots, and uh, they want to convert the Great One Dynasty to Tengriism. And uh, we're not going to allow that happen to happen for one main reason, and that is because religiously. Our tolerance of heretical beliefs is very high, and Confucianism, which is what most of China is, is uh, accepted. So is um, the other two. Where is it? Um, there it is. The other two Buddhist faiths are also very widely accepted. And the tolerance of our truth faith is uh, pretty good too. So, and even tolerance of heathen, so we're kind of a very uh, good harbinger of, or a tolerator of many faiths, which is good for the Great Wan Dynasty. It also is, makes it easier when you conquer uh, more land, and uh, when you expand the reach of your powerful empire. So they're going to Daidu. I'm trying to figure out where these armies are heading. They're going to Daidu. So, no. Go here. You go here. Or no, not there. Go to Yunza. Actually, let's have these guys go to down here. This army go to Daidu instead. This army. We're making soldiers up here. Which we don't want to do. We have... Uh, very little manpower. Well, we actually have a lot of manpower, but... Awesome. Excellent. Um, we're gonna... Complete the sky. We have our Fire Lance troops. And we're actually going to go... The Oirat Horde pays tribute to China. My Emperor, the Oirat Horde pays tribute to China. Happened to us. So we're actually gonna move this army to Korchin. So is that just a is that a modifier that just happens? Average development, recent manpower growth, regal court, generous. There it is. We're at Horde recognize the authority as a celestial empire, and they are regularly sending tribute to show their respect. United the Mongol tribes, concubinage, religious tolerance. How much of um, the Mongol ideas have I done? I've actually only done uh, the first one, which is Mongol Queen Stability Cost Modifier Drops, uh, which is good. I'll need Mongol Resilience next. But I get my next, whoops, I get my next uh, thing at level 12, and I'll probably do... Maybe aristocratic ideas. Knights, local nobility, serfdom. Military traditions, noble resilience. Or maybe, um... Standing army. Something like that, I don't know. Something. Maybe we can do, we could do state religion. Uh, we're gonna lower taxes. But yeah. Also, I don't know how to create... You need quest for the new world. I was trying to figure this out last time. And it doesn't seem like quest for the new world is anywhere in this idea tree. The tech tree anymore. And I don't know... Maybe it's like an actual idea. Um, but I don't even know where that would be. Seahawks. Shipyards. Shelter ports. Crest gangs. Building parties. Mercenaries. These are all mercs. 
Uh, what would that would that be here? This says city guards, but city guards improve maneuver. Engineer corps, regimental defense, supply trains, and improved foraging. So it's not there. Culture ideas. Patron of the arts, mercenaries, luxury tax, prestigious court, educated ruler, great court, scientific encouragement. This one seems pretty good. I might get this. Prestige goes up. Possible advisors goes up. Cabinet, diplomatic ideas. So we got foreign embassies, cabinet, war cabinet, benign diplomats, postal service, flexible negotiation, and diplomatic corps. I'm not seeing like quest for the new world anywhere. And maybe like, maybe that's in here. I'm just not seeing it. So I don't know. I don't know. Discipline goes up plus five. If I max that out. Uh, let's split this army in half. Ath Athawada pays tribute to China. So our neighbors are actually actively um, sending us money. So Ayathwada is uh, these guys. They're currently sending me money. They know that I am the only true ruler of China. And they fear me. So I'm going to bump the speed up a little quickly. Get some uh, some nice music. And we're just going to sit and uh, kind of let some of our stuff core. I'm gaining manpower, which is good. As you can see... We have a lot of cores, and most of our cores that we're trying to get are actually in China. They're the cores we lost uh, when the, they rebelled. So, some cores I actually still have, like um, that one. I still have that core, but other ones I don't have yet, or I just don't have. So. So some cores I have, other cores I don't, um, which is fine. We're making how much? We're making 14 a month, so I can do a trade person of some sorts. Egg beg, trade efficiency. I can do, ooh, diplomatic reputation might be nice. Let's do this guy. Diplomatic rep goes up and uh, I think diplomatic relations, question mark? Maybe? I don't know. But uh, this guy's awesome. Two men, Chakar. National unrest, definitely, yeah. Improved relations by 10. Reputation improves. And uh, we could get a general. Morale of armies plus 10%. That might be worth how much money am I making? Quite a bit. Egg Elg El Del. Eljig Day. Burgen. I could get him. He's level 2. Costs a little more a month. Reinforcement speed goes up. Now, I'm going to go with uh, the morale of armies. Because uh, my army morale is terrible. We're actually pretty good. Look, we're 767. We're pretty crazily. Um, we could set a national focus to Diplo. Um, I have too many diplomatic relations. Who... Do I have diplomatic relations with? Shen Chen Yu, Wing Ching, and Boy Rat. Liang. Who are the Liang? Wu. Chin. These guys. Lying. If I. How many. I have three diplomats. If I go influence, you'll need to centralize your nation. I gain more manpower. Awesome. Um, okay. Oh, they have the same that dynasty as me as well. These guys have the same dynasty? No. Lee. So these guys have the same dynasty. So. It's Mary. 
Not only does marrying bring up our relations. There we go. Let's get a marriage with the chin. Just marry off relatives. Why not, right? Beautiful. I think we have... Are these guys our vassal? They are. Yay. Alright, let's get one more. There we go. And the reason I'm getting royal marriages is because my line is secure for the moment. So if he dies in a freak accident, this guy can take over. But we do need a very strong line of cons in, uh, hang on, let's see, can I marry? Ooh, I can actually ally with the Oirut. Gaining control as time goes by, we are slowly increasing our influence over the control of Chao Zhao. Awesome. Um, you know, let's, uh, improve relations with the Oirat Horde. They are our neighbors. Uh, and we might be able to get an ally with them. And then we could, if we ally with the Oirat, right, we get them to help us. We could invade Mughalstan. And, uh, seize that land because... They're sitting on some juicy Buddhist land that I could, I could seize from myself. Truce expired. Our truce with Korea has ended, which means I could take back some of my land. And I still have cores. So who are they allied with? They're allied with Hashikawa, Ouchi, and Yamana. So they're actually allied with uh, Japanese factions. So let's click on them. Let's see. Bunch of insignificant Japanese states. So, what we're going to do, we're going to move through the border. Since I already have claims, it'll be easier to take the land. And we'll move uh, these three armies. I don't know how big their army actually is. I could look. How big is their army? Armies. Total. I'm actually the fourth biggest. The Ming have passed me. Delhi actually is the largest army that I know of. Let's see. 19,000. So, they shouldn't be able to resist me. And I still have claims, and I can declare war. I can. The enemy's allies uh, would join them, but it wouldn't matter. Because I'd smash them. And they're trying to recore their shit. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm actually going to take quite a bit of land from the Koreans here. And I'm also going to take my Jurchin tribes back as well. Okay. Declare war. Uh, we want Paseo. Declare war. Go to war. The invasion of Korea. They never thought they'd see it in their lifetime. The invasion of Korea by the great one dynasty. So, what we're doing and what my strategy is right now is we're consolidating our northern border. Eventually, we'll conquer all of the Manchu, all the Jurchin tribes, right? Then, we'll annex our vassals. Hopefully, we're centralized enough by then. Annex our vassals. Also, can I get rid of that? We annex the vassals, right? And then, after we've annexed all the vassals, and we've become a strong centralized state, we go after everyone. We go after, and we let the Chinese fight out amongst themselves first. And then we go to war. And we crush them into the ground and retake China for the glory of the great one dynasty. I can invest in a new idea. There. Military culture. I'll take it. So we have leadership ideas, discipline up plus five, military culture, army tradition, and army tradition decay go down. And immediately we've just, we've occupied so much of their land. So, uh, this guy... Oh. Never mind.
So our 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 morale and our discipline should be significantly higher. But uh Gi Wong, Gaion Yong, also known as Pryong Yang, I believe. because uh, this is the old Korean kingdom of Goryeo. Go Gory Goryeo. And it's not Joseon. So this way, actually, have the siege. That's fine. We'll take this, march here, kill these Korean separatists, and then we'll take back our land. I might actually conquer the entire Korean Peninsula, annex the south, and make the or annex the north and make the south my um, what is it? My uh, vassal. They they have a powerful navy. Doesn't matter because this uh, this war is completely land based. And, uh, let's see here, what do we got? Morale, 2-6. Discipline is 105%. Yeah, we'll just slaughter these guys. No. No. Um. No problems. Didn't even lose a thousand men, I don't think. Ooh. Troop deserting, that's fine. I have 46,000 somehow. Rebel uprising. Wan peasants. Um, I think we're alright. Mid more kit coins, I guess. What's my economy on? Trade. Economy. What's my infl inflation? Oh damn, my inflation's quite a bit. It's alright though. My inflation is like 4% or something like that. Uh, gaining control. Nice. March next door. We'll unite these two massive armies and then we'll... We'll assault, um... This guy. As we group up, I think we actually have, yeah, we have like... 20,000 men. Here. The walls are breached. I'd like charge in and murder everyone, but what's the um three percent attrition is what that's saying. Is that right? No, it's at eight percent attrition. It's okay though. We're actually gaining uh loot. We're looting pretty well. We've lost the effects of the Red Horde pays tribute to China. How dare they not pay tribute to me? I am the great Celestial Empire. Let's see if I can get that alliance offer. No. I'm in a war. That would be the only reason, though. 2020 is 47, so we're actually getting close. We'll be close to uh, allying with them. See, what did I tell you, though? The more nations that get killed off, the faster the game runs, because it doesn't have to process as much anymore. Um, Ripple Uprising, Rebels Break the Country. Rebels can't fully break a country to war. Uh, local autonomy. Everywhere. Tax are old. I lose 50 prestige, I can't really afford that. I thought the, uh... Humanist ideas were supposed to help that. Cultural ties, oh, there you go. Modifier, acceptance modifier, better relations go up, tolerance of heathens goes up. Is there anything that's like culture ideas? Prestige, prestige, tax modifier, advisor cost. Legitimacy, great court, another advisor, scientific encouragement, prestige, that's faith healing. We do popular religion ideas. 
Uh, very good. Provinces are at peace. Cool. Donate state lands to church. Gain to lose piety. There we go. I donated some state lands to church. To some Buddhist... The Buddhist monks. Alright, invade. So this army will be here first. But this army will be here second. The reinforcing army with the general. Uh, we should have more discipline and morale than them. Should. Keyword. Beautiful. We have another... Um, missionary we can send out. And now the battle for the province of Huangzhou is happening. With the Emperor Togan Temur Boyorgin leading against Yu Wang Choi. And uh, it's not a fair fight really. We have way higher morale and way higher discipline. And we're just able to slaughter these guys. So we'll divert plays tribute to China. It's beautiful. We'll slowly uh, spread out and occupy everything. We're even occupying their capital. The Boyret tribe is occupying the capital. It's beautiful. Now let's make a generous donation. Oh shit. Gain six legitimacy. How much legitimacy? Oh, it's actually pretty good. I have 93. Alright. Focus on missionary efforts. I really don't want national arrests to go up, so I gotta drop back down to one missionary. Let's see if I can piece them out. Uh, I want that land. That, 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 that's all I want, is the northern territories. Ooh, lose one stability. Oof. I'll gain the inflation. How much inflation do I have? 7% inflation, holy crap. Let's use 100 administrative power to drop that but to 5. I'll take 5% in, uh, 5% in, um, inflation. Jesus. Alright, uh... Alright, this is why I kept, uh, some armies around. So they revolted in Korukurum. They revolted in Mongolia. Go to Mongolia. Break these rebels. I think that's it. They just revolted in Mongolia. And this is why I keep armies around. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to... What just happened? Oh no. We'll actually be able to uh, take those back fairly simply. If they're just going to stand in the regions, I'll just have my largest army go in, crush all of them under my... I'm going to call my uncle Eggbed. Eggbed Boyorgin. The Song declared war against the Qianwan. Good, let the Chinese fight amongst themselves. Gaining control. We're also gaining control as we lose control in Mongolia. These Mongolians should know their place. And that the great Khan sees, knows, hears, and is all. Shit. Oh no, we're good. We're okay. You wanna give me your land now? They won't take that. What if I just want? What if I just get that? And uh, I can't enforce fleet basing or military access. If I get some, can I get some money? 
How much inflation are we I wonder how much inflation we've got. Point ten. No, because this is a chance to get all of our cores back. So I guess I'll wait. I'll wait to get all my cores back. I mean, we're going to take their capital, so... Oops, statesman left. Was he a guy I hired? He was. Alright, hold on. Province game. Excellent. So, what the fuck did I just get? Please stop, so I can... Stop. Please. There we go. So what did I just gain? I gained a province? Is this it? I gained a province, I think. Well, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I think that's what's happened. Turn the game. Okay, so there's some development events. Show development policies. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, you can stop doing that. This is good news. This is good news. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do here, if I can get the damn thing to stop, we're going to, and we're going to enhance neglected provinces. And we're going to go to this battle and fight these people. Gain, we have gain, yeah, and China with other courts, excellent. So I'm gaining provinces? The fuck? I'm like gaining provinces, I don't know from where. I just... I have no idea, I have no idea where I'm gaining these provinces from. Come on, join the battle. My morale still, my morale and discipline are so high. If we can defeat these guys, we'll be set. This is good news. Where are the these wand peasants? Oh, there. Go there, defeat them. Ravaged by war, this produces some damage from the fires of war, and it can only get worse. God. Yes, get him, please. Dude, Yong Choi is pretty badass. He's rolling very well. He got an eight. I got a seven. Plus modifiers. Oh. He's rolling very well, but I should be able to defeat him. Hopefully, if I'm lucky. There we go. So we've... Oh, please. Fuck it. There we go. My autonomy is better now. 
I'm gonna station this army in Karakorum. This army is gonna go to Daidu now. I'm stationing my uncle in Karakorum to stop this shit from happening again. It's probably the best to have like an army in the the old Mongol capital. It's like Mongolia. <laughs> Mongolia considers this one of her core provinces. Like, really now? Oh, no, never known. We won. Okay. Let's see if we can end this war. Doesn't seem like everybody, anybody's willing to... Oh, there we go. Get everything I want. Okay, they won't. My computer had to, like, realize what was happening. I'll take that. Send that demand. Immediately. Uh, sure. I shall. Awesome. So now, we're taking Northern Korea. And this new, new lands. So let's take this army. Or actually go to there. Take this army of the Emperor himself. Good Jin Zhao. Beautiful. I mean, the reason we have rebel inconvenience is because we have all these uncored provinces that I just... they take forever. Look how... look, I've been coring them for the entire existence of we've been playing this game. And now we're losing money. Now we're gaining money, I don't know, okay, whatever, fucking, don't care. <laughs> Look at that, we're regaining our lost land, it's the great one dynasty. We're regaining land, we're conquering land, so, how bad's my, uh, unrest? It's probably pretty freaking awful. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Great. They don't like us still, but... We're actually getting a lot of development in our nation, which is very good. We need it. We're gaining so much land. We have a lot of land. So maybe we'll actually annex these guys, like, over time. Like, we'll just snatch up land through events. Because I do have cores on them. How's the war going? The song here. Oof, they're at the war they're at war with the song, the Ming, and the I do. We're actually first in total score. Uh Whoa, what happened to the Ming's army? Oh, there we go. I wasn't scrolled up far enough. Ming still have a superior army. Eighty thousand soldiers. Crazy. It's freaking insane, guys. There's 32,000 men there. Oh, wait, maybe that's total sold, like total manpower. No, it's not. They have 50,000 infantry? Holy crap. I think I could fight them if it was like me and all my vassals. Other than that, I don't think I could fight the uh, Ming. The great and powerful Ming dynasty. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do development and events. Show development events. That's fine. I can do policing the roads. Let's do this. Policing the roads. National and manpower modifier goes down. Goods produced goes up. Cultural thrive. Awesome. Development's going up. So I base these guys here. Oh, core here. I like how it's like to take 300 months. 
Oh, I didn't want to maintain a diplomat. I wanted to... Oof. Close. Trust. They don't trust me. Um, let's do... Proclaim guarantee. There we go. Let's, uh, recall... Where the hell is he? It's in relations. It's not relation improvement. What? Truce with the Ming, the song you do. Oi Radford is paying tribute to us again. That's good. We're so freaking close. Uh, let's go economy. Sure. Actually, yeah, how much? Trade power you actually transferring? Right? There it is. Now they'll ally with me. Because they trust me now. They'll ally, which means they'll marry me. But it'll be beautiful. Because if they ally, I can see their land. And then I can see the Blue Horde. Which is probably rampaging across Europe as we speak. So, you know. You know how Mongols do. August, come on, August 30th. Roll around so I can ally with the Oirat. We gotta build up our strength of arms. You know what I mean? If we wish to retake China, we will have to call upon the hordes of the steppe. Nice. Alright, Mughalstan. How do you like me? Ooh. Okay, so diplomat from Canada is a ruler of Rome. We're going to lose a hundred ducats. Good news from China happens. Just Canada is a loser. How much diplomat? I have a lot of diplomatic power. Sure. Eh. Uh, Well, I can't move against them. UE, UA, UA, UE, these guys. So they'll gain that land. I can't really stop them. Um, can I just give in to them and accept demands? It's fine. I mean, I really can't control China. Nice. So they conquered their land and then declared themselves the Qi. The Qi dynasty of southern China. I'm sorry. Where? The emperor himself will deal with this. So what are these guys? Mongol separatists. Those damned non Mongols. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. See, the reason we're having uh, a better time up here is because they are accepted cultures, so they're not giving us penalties really. Um, they have control of the province, so oh boy. Uh, prestige. We're losing prestige, but it's okay. What we're gonna do, something we need to do, is
the expansion of the Great One Navy. Which actually take uh, manpower, apparently. Oh, shit. My legitimacy is still really good. I should become Tengri. Most of my nation is Tengri. But I, actually, I don't think I can switch to Tengri. I can't. Yeah, I can't switch to Tengri. I have to actually let... Um, I have to let Rebels flip me. So these guys are my ally. These guys don't like me. You don't like me. These, are, these guys don't mind me. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if I could declare war. Seize them. Is Tibetan part of my... It's not accepted. Where? Oh, right next door. Literally right next door. Look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. How dare you rebel? I'm just gonna have to kill all of you. I'm sorry. I apologize, but just how it's gonna have to happen. We actually have a uh, pretty strong church influence. Yeah, we're a very secular. Nations. Where is that? Let's go have them fight. And uh, we'll get a leader for these guys. Yeah, it's fine. Adi Karachin. Should be enough to defeat these guys. Mongol Supper does. Excellent. We're gaining a lot of control. It's good. Wow. Nice. Oh, we rolled an 11. This guy's just rolling poorly. Korea literally can't do anything to fight us. They will die. everyone together, one army, go to Daidu. So we get, I can invest in what? Culture acceptance modifier, 330. Yes, do it. It's beautiful. Oh. I want to read this real quick. So. They tell us of Cao Wan, the first Han's tragedy. Cao Wang, the first Han, supreme leader of the Northern Red Turbans, was drowned in the Yangtze River. News say his ship sunk before help arrived. Former Chancellor under Cao Wang, Duke Wu of Yangtin Regency Council, declared that all Northern Red Turbans are now under his control. Okay. Ming have inherited the Song throne. Reconquest of Ming and culture acceptance. So the Ming have gained significant power. And they're looking to be the most dominant power in China. So I think we're actually going to end the video here with the rise of this new Ming state, really, to become the most powerful state in China. Um, militarily, they are now the most powerful militarily. I'm fourth, but I only have half their numbers. I don't think I could contest them if uh, they truly wanted to claim the southern regions of China. Um, they don't have claim on many of them. So, 
I think we'll end this video here for now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it quite a bit. And when we come back, I guess we solidify our claims, rebuild our army, and prepare for the worst with the great Ming. So until next time, stay tuned.